Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. This girl had went over there that evening. This was the next morning. And the question I have is, do you want to talk to her? Confront her. Oh, yeah. No, Don't change no. the subject on me. What is this? From Cheaters surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Is it just like he's just trying to keep a big secret from me? I just can't take the lies. I can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh, yeah, we got it right now. They're in south. I'm tired of the excuses. This is something that I've got to know. They're together right now. <laughs> there they are. Let's go. What's up, homie? Who are you, homie? God. I love you. Real reality television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's private eyes on Cheaters. Hello, I'm Joey Greco. Thank you for watching Cheaters. Meet April Yezarino, a young woman troubled over her lover's recent behavior. Sick of the constant head games, April enlists cheaters to put an end to her speculations. April Yezarino. Age 23, fears her girlfriend may be involved in unacceptable extracurricular activities. Had you ever been in a relationship with another female prior to this? I had, but it wasn't like me and Veronica. Um, it was sort of a just first time experience thing. And now it's, uh, it's more serious with her than anybody else. We were friends for maybe two years before we decided to get together. And um, I always kind of thought about being with Veronica, but I was sort of afraid. You know, I didn't want to scare her off or anything. Had she ever been with another no, woman? this before? is her first. So uh, I didn't want to freak her out or anything, you know. Um, but when I told her, she was, she felt the same way. She just recently changed, I would say, within the past two or three months. Um, it's more like I tell her, you know, I'm in school. And I tell her, I have, I have school. I have to spend time with my daughter. And um, she's not understanding that at all. She's not um, giving me time to do things. I don't know if she feels that I'm going out and maybe spending time with somebody else. And she thinks that I'm cheating. And maybe she's going off and doing something like that. Um, I'm hoping that she's not, because I have time. I need time for school and for my daughter. And it seems that when I tell her, she gets upset. You know, instead of understanding, um, she doesn't. We used to maybe uh, be intimate every single day, and now it's maybe two times a week or something. And it's, it's. I'm noticing a change. You know, being that uh, her attitude has changed and the intimacy is different, and it's, it's not like it used to be. Um, really? That's what makes me very suspicious. Also, I don't think I would be able to look at Veronica the same way as I do. Um, I care a lot about her, and I do love her. But if she was cheating on me, uh, that's what happened between me and my daughter's father. And um, it's something that I don't, I don't agree with. You know, I think it's disgusting, actually. Um, but if she feels that she doesn't want to be with me anymore and she needs somebody else, then she can go on. I'll, I don't plan on, you know, taking her back. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Veronica Perez, age 20, a babysitter who is suspected of making alibis of family members to maintain her surreptitious affairs. Investigation day two. Cheaters investigators end a long night of surveillance and are rewarded on this morning as Perez and an unidentified female companion come out of Perez's home after spending the night together. Perhaps the two are merely friends. Investigation day three. On this day, Perez and the unidentified woman get together and meet for a quick lunch. 
Their seemingly benign interaction is somewhat suspicious, but the proof of an intimate relationship still eludes Cheater's detectives. The investigation continues. Investigation day four. The couple head out for another night on the town. Earlier this same day, April expresses a desire and her availability to spend these hours with Perez. But Perez claims she's going out with her aunt. Cheaters suspect something is happening here, but what it is ain't exactly clear. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing tonight? Um, me and my aunt are probably planning on going to Paris. Um, you want me to go with you? Uh, no, no, that's okay. No, um, just me and her are gonna go. Well, um, I'd like to go. I mean, if you want to. Well, have me go with. I mean, I'll pay. Do you want to? No, no, that's okay. It's just you know, my aunt and my uncle are having problems, and mm -hmm. she's kind of upset. So uh, I figured, you know, we'd go out and you know, talk or you know. Yeah. Obviously, Perez doesn't want to spend quality time with April. And by the looks of the kissing of the new couple over dinner, it is not difficult to understand why. This gives Cheater's detectives the evidence they've been looking for. The case is closed, and Cheater's returns to show April the unwanted results. After the break, the confrontation. With clear proof of Veronica's dishonesty in hand, Cheaters confronts April with the incendiary evidence. Prepared to face the unknown, April bravely evaluates the findings. I have some videotape I want to show you. I hate to just lay it on you like that, but I don't see any other way to, oh, yeah. to do that. On this day of an investigation, our detective um, staked out her house, your girlfriend's house. This girl had went over there that evening. This was the next morning. Well, she spent the night. The video tells the story. Here they were just hugging. I mean, you could, in, in a general estimation, think, well, until they kissed, but that, that it could be a friendship. Yeah. But On this day of investigation, she picked her up, and they went to dinner at this restaurant. And this is where we got the most damning evidence right here. It was way beyond any friendship. It was more, well, it was very romantic, holding hands, kissing. Which is uh, the toughest part. Now you do know who she is. That's Jennifer. It's Jennifer. Has she been a friend to you, both of you? Well, yeah. I didn't even know that she was gay. Really? That's what surprises me, really. She's never come. I've never, you. never, you know, talked to her about it. You know, me and she knew me and Veronica were girlfriends. We were dating, but she never made it really? seem like you know, she was gay. I mean, for all I thought she was straight. <laughs> Maybe she's bi, I guess she is. Obviously, uh, your girlfriend hasn't been honest with you. This other girl hasn't been honest because she is in a relationship with her. And it, it looks more than just a casual relationship. But, um, facts of the facts and I thought it was important that that you see that and, and the reason we brought you here is because they're together at this movie theater okay. and they're in there seeing a movie so she wasn't with her family tonight she's with this other woman and the question I have is do you want to talk to her yeah. confront her oh yeah and ask her why yeah for sure Definitely. I guess she was pretty much just making me and my daughter an excuse for her to go out and, and have something to be upset over because she had no other reason to be upset. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, here we go. All right, here they are. Stay with me right here, okay? We're gonna come this way, okay? All right, let's go. Is this what I got dragged out of my house for? What is this? No, no, Don't change no. the subject on me. What is this? Veronica, you want to explain what you've been doing with uh, this young lady? What is all this, April? You don't trust me or what? You have to trust you. You have to bring all these people. What? What? She? I don't even see you again. What? No, don't. don't we move have it. surveillance footage of you. Uh, spending you time with her. You guys went out her. to eat Did together. You know she was I thought you were going to Pandora's. This doesn't look like Pandora's. You are in a, rela I did in a relationship. For what, what, Veronica, what were you what, doing? What, why didn't you tell you me about her? Let me explain. Explain, me explain. what? Explain. Like, you knew it was I want happen. you to explain. What do you do all day? You're always at school. You so what? So anymore. what? Is that an you excuse? Is that an excuse to do no. this? Excuse? It's not an excuse, but you knew it was going to end up happening. What do you mean I knew? I knew. So what? So what? So you couldn't what? have you told me? You couldn't have been happen. honest you with know. me? Coming up, the conclusion. So you couldn't what? have you told me? You couldn't have been happen. honest you with know. me? Why are you, you don't have anything to, to say. Can I be honest with you? You don't me? have anything to say. You don't have anything to say. Do you feel stupid? No, I hope you feel stupid. I don't. I hope you feel stupid. Because you're going to regret it. That's why. You don't you have know, anything no, to say. You know I care about you, April. You oh, know you do? I want you with me, then. Why were you lying to her? Why couldn't you just be honest with her and I, tell her I how you felt? I wasn't, I wasn't lying to you. You were lying to both of us. Who? What is all this, April? What? What? Yeah. Don't change the subject. Don't change the subject. Don't change the subject. Why have you been lying to me? Why? I haven't been Why? Lying to you. I haven't been lying. You haven't? So no. this is Pandora's, right? This is Pandora's restaurant. What do you you have? This is a movie theater. Me? Do you, you know have the these difference? People following me or so what? So what? Obviously you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're and supposed that's to trust me. You said you love me. Trust you. Don't you? Trust me? No, this is why I don't trust you. I have surveillance footage of you guys having dinner, making out. I had to show her that today. Supposedly, you guys were in a relationship, how long has this and been here going you are on? with this other no, woman. No, how long has this been going on? That's what I want to know. Why haven't you been honest with her and just tell her the truth if you didn't want to be in this relationship? She don't want to be with her. That's why. Well, she's been lying to her and telling her otherwise. I can't believe it. I'm from the TV show you Cheaters. You can't believe I. And Cheaters. You can't believe I did this. Here we go. You want to see what we we had to sh show her tonight? Yeah, you guys don't even have. Watch it. You were in a committed well, relationship for the last year, about over what? a year. About what? This, Nothing to talk about. Nothing to talk about. No, this is stupid. This is stupid. Go, go where? Let's go. Who are where you going? With? Who are you going to leave with? Her. You leave with her. No. You're not leaving with me. You're not leaving with me. I don't want you to leave with me. Go. Go. This is crazy. That. You're just gonna throw away the last year, over a year? What are you telling me about her? Just by saying that's it? Aren't you ashamed of yourself, Veronica, for lying to her? Man, get out of You invited face. me to go out tomorrow, remember that? Sorry. Remember? Sorry, change of plan. So you think it's okay just to be honest, and you're okay with that? You're okay that she's lying to her girlfriend that she spent over a year with? I didn't with? know nothing about this. You knew about it. You know no, who she is. No, I didn't. And that's didn't. it. You don't you even care? Talk, no, we're not. Yeah. Don't call me. Don't call me. Don't you call me. You don't even don't care. Don't you call me. You'll regret it. You'll care. regret I it. I hope you feel stupid. I hope. What do you mean you can't believe this? I can't believe this. This is what I can't believe. This is what I can't believe. You're at the movies. You yeah, were supposed to be with your aunt. You were supposed to be at a at a restaurant eating, and you're at the movies with Jennifer. How did you know you were gay? I didn't even you know think me? you were gay. I'm not. I'm not. Then you're sitting here making out with her, holding hands, Whatever. spending the night at her house. Don't what deny it. Don't deny it. How does she know my name? How does she know my name? Let's get you. Well, 
just miss better this way anyway, you know. It's not worth it. We found out the truth. Hang on one. Following the confrontation, April retreats into her studies to avoid her pain. At the end of this presentation, Cheaters uncovers how April's faith in love fares. But first, Cheaters presents Steve Hauser, an unassuming man who found himself in a foul situation. Steve Hauser, age 31. Steve returns to Cheaters for a frank discussion on love and fidelity in today's social climate. Yeah, Amanda told me that she had a boyfriend, but uh, the thing about that was, I mean, I figured if she didn't care, why should I care? Uh, you know, she said she was just kind of uh, saving up money to, to move out of his place as soon as she could. And so I figured, you know, that, you know, nothing would, uh, you know, at first I didn't even think anything would come out of knowing her at all, but then, you know, as long as, uh, you know, she didn't care and she wanted to mess around, I figured what the hell, it would be fun. Who's that? That's him. Amanda? Let her get her, get your clothes on. Get your... What are you doing? What? We're what the hell talking. are you She's just talking with your pants down? Yeah, we were just talking. How the hell does that happen? I didn't really want to be caught in that situation because, uh, you know, I mean, getting caught with your pants down, it's uh, not the place you want to be, really, I guess, especially if, uh, you know, the girl has a boyfriend. <laughs> so uh, I took off running uh, just to get away from the cameras in the hopes that they wouldn't be able to catch who I was, really. Where the, did he go? What are we talking about? We're just talking. We're just friends. I'll just deal friends? with you later. Yeah. Which way did he go? first reaction was just kind of a panic and uh, not really wanting to be on national television in that situation. And uh, really the first place I found to hide just happened to be a porta potty. And uh, so I hid in there and locked the door. Why don't you come out, man? Come on, dude, come out. Oh, great. No, stop. Hey, guys. No, folks, no. Okay. No, what are you doing? You don't even know me, man. Quit. Yeah, it's out of control, man. Leave him alone. It's just not worth it. I mean, seeing the look on that guy's face and just all the humiliation that I had to go through and, you know, getting covered with sludge and you know, running away, and I mean, it's just not worth it. I'm, I've realized that uh, you're taking part in something, too, when, when you get involved with somebody, and it's your responsibility, too, to make sure that the other person is, you know, doesn't have any baggage or, you know, involvement with someone else. After the heartbreak of learning that her lover had been unfaithful, April Yezzerino sticks to her earlier promise and never speaks with the suspect again. The sting of betrayal is too sharp for forgiveness for April, and she is clear in her convictions, knowing that she's only interested in a monogamous, honest relationship. April's main focus is her daughter and finishing up school, although she's very willing to have another woman in the near future. The suspect and her companion in this case were unavailable for comment after the confrontation. Every day, ugly people running around. 
All done, sir. Oh, thank you, Sonny. Thank you, Mr. G.